दिस इज लव जोहर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई सिंसियर थैंक्स टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स हुर माई न्यू चैनल सब्सक्राइबर्स नाउ हु हैव सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल रिसेंटली एंड स्पेशल थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स आउट देयर हु आर वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज थैंक यू एवरी वन सो दो ऑफ यू हु आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम लेट मी गिव यू अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन एंड सम बेसिक्स अबाउट वाई आई एम पोस्टिंग दिस दीज वीडियोज एंड वाई आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस यूट्यूब चैनल so for all of you out there who are trying to learn and study about ISO 27001 and want to implement information security management system uh, within your organization in the future as well or you are already in the, in the implementation part all of you are requested to subscribe to my channel because you will find all this information that i am sharing over here very useful and uh, i still remember the time when i started my study of ISO 27001 and ISMS around a couple of years ago I wasn't aware about what this information security management system was all about and trust me it was very hard uh, to google every small bit of information that I had to find out in order to uh, study more about this ISMS topic so since since is a very vast field and that's why it's not so easy to understand uh, but at the same time uh, I decided to learn all this information by myself and also decided that as soon as I will learn anything new in this field and in the security domain i will not keep it to myself and i will instead uh, share it with all of you out there in the information security field uh, with all of you so that you don't have to search everything on google and the answers that you are looking for are already in front of you at one single place so that's why i have created this particular channel friends okay now let's get started i have created this video to help all of you information security officers out there and your human resource professionals in answering the following information security questions when they go for any new hiring that is when the employee is getting hired or during employment or when the employee is working within the organization and even after employment when an employee resigns and it's no longer a part of the information uh you know uh, of the security perimeter of your organization what are the different things that you you should consider in terms of your human resource security and this video is basically for all the human resource professionals who are out there who want to understand what, what kind of information security can they have in place in order to make sure they have a secure environment while dealing with all the new people which are coming to their organization and for all the information security uh, you know officers out there who are basically making sure that their organization is secure so in this particular training video we will try to understand what kind of employees screenings and background checks are happening within your organizations you have to find out that and who is in charge of performing these steps these these are some things that we will discuss about what does your confidentiality agreement contain is it mandatory for all the employees to duly sign these agreements after thoroughly reading them and do these confidentiality agreements also outline the uh, important uh, security responsibilities of the employees that are coming on board within your organization Uh, do you inform the new hires about the information security policies within your organization uh, through induction or as an overall part of the induction process also and what kind of disciplinary procedures do you have in place for employees who violate uh, your information security policies do you inform your new hires about these procedures as a part of your induction program these uh, disciplinary procedures the other thing that we'll be discussing here is do you also inform your new hires about what kind of security incidents had have happened uh, within your organization in the past and what were the consequences in terms of uh, financial loss or in terms of uh, you know disciplinary action against the employees who did that purposefully and how does the change in access takes place when uh, or you know if there is any change in the role of uh, any employee or job responsibilities of any employee do you have a process in place for the same in order to make sure that the change management is taken care properly uh, so let's start with this uh, with the, with the time when an employee comes on board in the organization uh, uh, what kind of proper verification and screening of new hire employees which which actually should play, take place so the following points will actually help you when an employee comes on board okay so the first first important point to consider here is impo- employees identity check uh, against a passport or equivalent valid and legitimate government authorized document that contains a photograph you need to make sure that you have proper employee identity checks in place for all the employees who are coming on board and the second tip is minimum two references from past employment should be made available at the time of joining with complete uh, contact information that is email phone numbers location etc any two past references should be given by the employee who is coming to your organization the third tip is experience certificates from all the past employers and from the organization in which the employee has worked in the past and the fourth tip is educational uh, certificates uh, should be you know 
uh, make sure that they are uh, you know not fake and uh, educational certificates should be uh, kept in uh, there to ensure completion of all the claimed qualifications and certifications and the fifth tip is to have a proper police verification in place to check if any criminal records or any uh, present cases are there against the employee who, who you are hiring and all terms and conditions of employment should be completely laid out in the employment offer letter which you are giving to the employee the job descriptions and terms of employment should also completely address the consequences if the employee fails to avoid by, ab abide by the uh, security policies set within the organization which may include disciplinary actions up to dismissal from the current job so all these things should be men mentioned in the offer letter and the employee contracts which you are handing over to the new employee who is joining within your organization so employees should also be aware and should sign the acceptable use policy so that they completely understand how information systems are to be used within the organization so you need to have uh, acceptable use policy of how an employee should deal with the assets uh, the different information uh, systems which are out there like laptops desktops how they should operate how what are the things that they should be aware of uh, in terms of accessing the internet etc employee handbook uh, is another one of the important tips over here which actually should contain all the important parts of information security in it so important note to keep in mind here for all the hr professionals and the third party recruitment consultancies who are out there is all the data that is obtained in this screening and verification step should only be used for recruitment purposes only and not for any other purposes and another important note to keep in mind is all this application data should only be accessed by human resource professionals only and should be kept in secured and locked places clearly hidden from the research uh, you know from the reach of the other staff members so that uh, it's only visible to the human resource uh, professionals and human resource department let's come to a point when an employee has actually joined the organization and has started working in the organization so during employment the following information security related aspects should be covered by the human resource professionals or the information security officers who are there who can actually guide the hr professionals in order to make sure that the following steps are taken care of so periodic information security awareness trainings for all the employees should be mandatory after every 6 months so that they are aware, aware about the changes in the information security aspects of their organization Periodic employee assessments should also be made by conducting some kind of online quiz, or uh, in order to ensure that the employees are aware about the several uh, different security aspects while dealing with the information assets and information systems within the organization. And the third uh, tip over here is importance of employee handbooks containing all such information should be reiterated again and again so that employees can go through these employees handbooks uh, in order to make sure that they completely understand the kind of risks that they are dealing with in terms of information security within the organization. At the end, now let's see what needs to be done during termination or whether when there is a change of employment. The following information security related aspects should be covered by the human resource professionals. Number one, there should be procedures and pro policies in place uh, confirming and verifying that all kinds of logical accesses and physical access rights to all kinds of information systems are either updated, changed, or removed whenever the role of the employee or the job function of an employee changes, or whenever if termination happens. So you have to make sure that all the uh, you know different accesses are there in place uh, for any of the changes that are happening, and all the old accesses have been removed. So you have to make sure that this part is taken care properly. The second tip is all tangible assets that is identity cards keys access cards any it related assets etc that the employee processes should be taken into custody immediately in case of transfer of employment or termination of employment so we need to ensure that all the security controls that i have discussed above in this particular training video uh, should be implemented within an organization uh, because remember people are the weakest link and easiest links that can be misused and exploited by the hackers to trigger different types of uh, security incidents so we need to ensure that our workforce completely understand the importance of information security and stand still in order to fight against any threats that try to emerge in the future uh, i hope you like the best practices that i have shared here and implement uh, these best practices within your organizations to have a secure working environment and peace of mind for you as well as for your hr department and for your security officers who are out there so this increased security will also eventually help you in increasing the overall productivity within your business exponentially 
as more and more people would understand the importance of information security within your business so to recap what we have covered in this particular training video in nutshell we have seen and we have tried to understand the different types of human resource security controls and human resource security best practices that you and your information uh, security professionals can implement and put in place for having a safe environment within your organization so that your business information is secure which is the end goal at the end of the day and uh, yeah this is basically it that we have discussed in this particular training video that's it that's pretty basically uh, it for this particular training video if you have any more questions that you would like to ask me then please feel free to uh, comment in this uh, comment section below this video and thanks for watching this video please make sure that you go through this video once again because as i always say repetition is the key to success so thanks again for watching this video guys this is love johar if you have any questions or concerns in terms of what i have discussed here then please feel free to comment below and i will be happy to respond back and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because as i always say iso 27001 is a very vast topic and there are tons of more videos in the pipeline that i will be uploading here very soon so if you will subscribe to my channel then you will be the first one to get notified about all these new videos that i will be uploading and you will be the first one in order to watch them thank you so much this is love joe thank you bye bye